everyone, and welcome to Ken Sundstrom Field at the Cardinals Sports Complex for CTN's coverage of VFW Baseball. Tonight, the Cardinals host the Blaine Bengals to a doubleheader. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro behind home plate, and Howie, a beautiful day for baseball. Buckle up. We've got a lot to play. Yeah, you know, it's that old ad adage, it's a great day for two, and this is definitely going to be a beautiful night, day and night for two games here. And and uh, we have a little added excitement. This We knew this day would come. It's been 20-some years in the making. Uh, Joe Yen is finally going to call a game where his son is playing in, in, in the starting lineup. An so. active participant. There yes. are the Cardinal coaches, Hagan on the left and Robidoux on the right. Their team will be the home squad for game one, the visitor for game two, the visitor. For game one is the Blaine Bengals led by Ben Walruff, the shortstop. Brandon O'Brien is hitting behind him. Cole Bruley, the third baseman hitting third. And Gavin, Gavin Gillen is hitting cleanup. Spencer Helberg, Parker Dahlman, Tanner Vogel, Nate Griswold, and finally, Dylan Berg, the center fielder for Blaine. First pitch. Skied to left, Tyree Kemboy into foul territory. Off his glove, no, it was in fair territory and a leadoff error puts Ben Walruff at second base. He had a long way to go on that, that ball and it, uh, it, it did get into his glove, but unfortunately he was not able to hang on to it. So it's a tough way for the Cardinals here to start in the fields. So we're gonna see it again. It's just kind of a long, high fly ball. and Hung up Kemboy. in the wind. You see right off Just his glove. barely yeah. in fair territory. And in safely at second is Ben Walruff. Brendan O'Brien takes in, nobody out. Looks at a strike, 0-1. Of course, you've had uh, much more opportunity to see this squad than I have. I've seen a couple. You've seen a few games, so you're a little more familiar with these boys. We were supposed to do a game earlier in the season that unfortunately got rained out. This one slapped to the right side and through. Walruff going to be held up as Vlasity charged from right to get to it quickly. But runners at the corners, nobody out. A yeah, tough, uh, tough early start for Racine. Trying to work out of a jam here with runners at the corner and nobody out, as you mentioned. Just three pitches into the yep. inning. Walruff, the runner at third, O'Brien at first. Racine comes set. Bunt is foul. 0-1. Of course, with that situation up, you see the corner infielders up a little bit. Well, of course, the uh, first base is holding the runner, but Espinoza at third in a little bit. Just playing at the, uh, just before the infield grass. Bruley calling time, making sure he's on the right page with the signals he saw. And we'll come back in, 0-1. Runners at the corners, nobody out here in the top of the first inning. O'Brien will go from first. The pitch hit him. And they're all loaded up. Nobody out yeah, here in the first. Yeah, early precarious situation here for Coon Rapids. Racine's in a little bit of a jam here. Is that pitch going to be a little too far to the inside? Hit him right in the back to load him up. Corners in for the Cardinals. Infield in. Cleanup hitter Gavin Gillen steps in in an ideal situation, looks at a pitch at the knees, 0-1. Mountain Racine's got to be you know, careful in this situation, doesn't have a base to give up. Well, and the only pitch he, he hasn't thrown for a strike is the one that hit Cole Bruley. Yeah. Gets ahead in the count, 0-2. Exactly where he wants to be, got to get that first out. Try and take a little bit of pressure with the infield in. Off speed called third strike. Three pitch strikeout, a huge 
out for Racine and the Cardinals. See that pitch and really a good set for Andrew Racine. And good look. Got him looking, nice, nice looking pitch. Good looking frame behind yep. the plate. Yep, if you must say so yourself. Good looking <laughs> off speed pitch to get Helberg looking 0-1. Just five pitches into this inning, he had bases loaded, nobody out. That one well outside, and it's one and one. Well, an opportunity for him to, you know, to settle down. And grant, granted, really, other than the, he gave up a base hit in the in the hit batter. There was an error that allowed the first base runner, which was um... curveball foul to the backstop by Helberg. All right, over at third. Racine back ahead in the count. Two, one and two. Fastball up high, Helberg's not buying. Two and two. Great off-speed pitch again. Freezes the batter back to back. Called third strikes for Andrew Racine. And uh, now a chance to get out of this with minimal damage. Here's a look at the defense in the outfield. Jack Blassity in right, Phoenix Wymore in center. Tyree Kemboy is the left fielder. Sam Halverson is at first. Lucas LeBrant at second. Jackson Fierst is the shortstop. The third baseman is Dominic Espinoza. And behind the plate is Aaron Yund. Is he related to you? A little bit. Yeah, you know him, so I take it you know him a little bit. <laughs> so cool. Parker Dolman looks at first strike and then a fastball just above the letters one and one. Okay. And Dahlberg, a, a product of Coon Rapids Cardinal Little League. So, so a, knows a lot a of his team he's playing. Yeah, has not quite yet 16 and already 6'5". Pitch just misses low. It's two and one to Dolman. Yeah, he's got a little. He's got some time to grow, even a little bit more. You know, Racine really has done a nice job of getting two outs in this inning, trying to avoid any runs coming across. Just missing low again, and now three and one. A giant pitch right here for Racine. Again, Racine and Dolman have known each other a long time. Playing in the same little league. And that one misses high. Ball four. Bases loaded walk. Blaine on the board. A tough situation here. You get, unfortunately, you, you, you get back to back strikeouts and then you walk in a run. And I just, again, try to avoid as much damage as possible here in the top of the first. Well, and again, if that's the only run they allow, that would be a, it a would be. great thing for the Cardinals yes. early in this ballgame. Tanner Vogel, the catcher for Blaine, will dig in with the bases loaded. Two away here in the top of the first. One run across, a 1-0 lead. And he looks at a strike on one. Another called strike, good movement on a tough to judge pitch from Andrew Racine. And he's back ahead 0-2. Yeah, Vogel thought that was gonna be out of the zone. He looked back at the official. And that's definitely a strike. Another three pitch strikeout, three strikeouts in the inning for Andrew Racine, all on called third strikes. Cardinals a chance to respond when we come back. You're watching CTN's coverage of VFW Baseball. Meet the scan, a simple procedure whose mission is to detect lung cancer early. I'm here to save you. But I feel fine. That's great, but you may still be at high risk for lung cancer. Oh man, that's a new fence. 
If you smoke, early detection could save your life. Learn more at SavedByTheScan.org. Did you know you can report problems to the city with your smartphone? Download the Coon Rapids app. The reported feature allows you to describe the problem, snap a photo, and submit it directly to the city work order system. It's an easy way to report a pothole, broken street light, or other neighborhood concern. No smartphone? Then hop online and report your concern through the city's website. City maintenance problems solved the easy way. Coon Rapids reported. So Blaine takes advantage of an error, but only able to get one across after getting bases loaded with nobody out. And that's impressive. And that's probably the most impressive stat of that inning was the fact that Coon Rapids only allowed that one run. And you know, certainly thanks uh, in part to Andrew Racine who had a nice inning, three strikeouts in that, in that first, uh, in the top of the first. There's a look at how the Cardinals will hope to answer the leadoff man, their catcher, Aaron Yund, followed by Jackson Fierce. Dominic Espinosa and then Phoenix Wymore in the cleanup spot. Jack Velocity, the right fielder, will hit fifth with Tyree Kemboy behind him. Andrew Racine, Lucas LeBrant, and Sam Halverson round out the order for the Cardinals. Well, as Young steps to the plate, he's hitting 310 on the season. Plus, he's got those wheels hitting from the left side. Looks at a fastball, strike one. You're finding much enjoyment I'm in my speechlessness. I'm excited. I'm excited. Good looking pitch there from Helberg. Died down and away. Young caught swinging 0 and 2. I'm a little nervous. I don't I'm blame sure you. he is as well. I'm He's sure. well aware that I'm here. Yes. Big 0 2 pitch. Slapped into left. That's a leadoff single. A nice way to turn that pitch you know, down 0 and 2. He, it was a solid base hit to left field. He's played well. I'm, I'm very proud of the way that he has played. Now I'm going to get choked up, but he's played very well. He had a great high school season, Yep. Um, and he's keeping it going, at least trying to keep it going here uh, in the VFW season. Shortstop Jackson Fierce will dig in next. Fastball strike, 0 and 1. Jackson hitting 320 on the season. Well, we talked about it, uh, Aaron being maybe one of the fastest guys on the on the team. It's an opportunity to uh, for him to, on the base pass, is certainly an advantage for the Cardinals. And they're going to try and get him and almost did. He leaned the wrong way a second, but got back. Typically one official in a BFW game. Makes stealing a little bit harder, yeah. too, because on close plays, that one up can only see so much. High fly ball to left field, easily handled by Griswold for out number one. That'll bring up Dominic Espinosa. Hitting third and playing at third. Dominic hitting 250 on the season. Now with one out here in the bottom of the first. Cards trying to answer back. They play a lot of baseball in a very short time. A lot of, of doubleheaders. Double yeah. Well, you got to get the games in, especially when the weather's cooperating. Helberg starts Espinosa with an off-speed pitch for a called strike, 0-1. One, one. Fastball down and in, evens the count. Yonder really pretty conservative lead over there at first. They're testing him. They're keeping him close to the bag. They've heard about his speed, apparently. Keep him close. Keep Young close. There he goes. Pitches outside. It was a pitch out. And they've got him nailed. Good call by the Bengals. Yeah, nice throw down there. Unfortunately, uh, he's caught stealing for out number two. Well, it was a good call. It was a p clear pitch out. Oh, yeah. Throw a little bit to the outside of the bag, but plenty of time. 
Down and in, three and one now to Espinoza. Called strike and the count is full. After a leadoff single, Helberg trying to get out, only facing three batters. And he will, big swinging strike three for Dominic Espinoza. Playing back at the plate with a 1-0 lead after this on CTS. I'm Ryan Nagasu, 2010 Olympian and bronze medal winner of the 2014 U.S. Championships. I knew I loved skating at the age of five, and now it's become my life passion. Find your skating passion at the Coon Rapids Ice Center. Classes are available all year round. It could be the place where your skating dreams come true. See you on mice. It's so nice to all be sitting down together. Who can tell me something they did today? Um, I drew a horsey. Good for you, son. I started smoking. I love you too, sweetheart. I'm selling bongs out of our minivan. I got a tramp stamp. I'm getting implants. I'm dating your brother. Uh-huh. I'm cooking meth in the basement. Great idea, kiddo. That's why you're so popular at school. Back at the Cardinals Sports Complex. CTN's coverage, VFW Baseball. Playing a one nothing lead after the first inning in game one of a doubleheader. Yeah, exciting, we get to do a couple of games. Then you don't have to miss a broadcast to watch Aaron, which is always a good thing. Andrew Racine had three strikeouts in that first inning. After loading the bases with nobody out, gave up just the one run. Yeah, he, he'd like to see a little smoother, you know, three strikeouts aside, a little smoother inning in the field. Not put the pressure on. After a miss high, misses low to Nate Griswold. 2 and 0. Oh. That one skips in the dirt, 3 and 0. Oh. Fastball in for a strike. Griswold watching all the way. And he certainly needed that quite obviously. Again, you don't want to walk the leadoff hitter if you can avoid it. This one hit back up the middle. Fierce from behind the bag. Not able to beat Griswold, but good play by Jackson Fierce. Great mobility to get there and get this one behind second base. This one straight back up the middle. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to get there. I thought it was going to go back and, uh, and go through the infield. As you mentioned, did a nice job at least to make an attempt on that. It wasn't going to get the runner, but it was a solid effort. And now the number nine hitter, Dylan Berg. Runner is going. He drops down a good bunt, fielded and dropped by Espinosa. So Berg will get credit for a sacrifice, but reach on an error. Yeah, we always have this little bit longer infield grass. That ball died a little bit, but Espinosa just didn't uh, get it into his glove. Again, pressure by Blaine in the first inning. And back to the top of the order, Ben Walruff. A long fly ball that Kemboy tracked and nearly caught near right at the foul line. This one, first pitch. Hit to center, it'll fall in front of Wymore. Wymore's throw got through, nobody in the middle of the diamond. Young comes out and gets it, but uh, now base is loaded, nobody out again. 
Yeah, it's a tough way to start second inning in a row for Coon Rapids. And now the pressure falls on Andrew Racine again. Brennan O'Brien, single through the right side of the infield, first time up. Ben Walruff has been on at the plate for two pitches. He's reached both times and scored once. This one hit over the head of LeBrant at second. Second run coming home. Throw comes all the way through. Young going back to third, and that runner is out. So they will get an out two-run score, and hustling over to second on the throw was Brandon O'Brien. So Walruff, the runner, out at third. Griswold and Burke score. It's a 3-0 lead for the Bengals. Nice, nice piece of hitting there by O'Brien as uh, he's able to drive in a couple of runs and, and the throw's gonna come in to Yun. He does a nice job of just a snap throw down to third. Gets him easily for out number one. Again, first pitch hit well over the head of Kemboy out and left. O'Brien will round and come home. He will score. Stopping at second with the double is Bruley. Top of the order coming through big for the Blaine Bengals. And the Bengals getting to Andrew Racine here in the top of the second. Some solid base knocks. Another run scoring hit there as they've increased their lead to 4-0. Four hits in the inning, three runs across, one out and a runner at second base. Curveball behind the batter all the way to the backstop. Easily over to third is Bruley. Now we're gonna have uh, Coach Hagen come out and talk to Andrew Racine. Tough inning for the youngster here. Still just one away, runner at third. Well, Racine putting him over the plate for the most part. Oh, well, they're hitting him. They are. Yeah, very solid contact. A little bit of an informational meeting. He's gonna walk back to the dugout. A lot of guys on the roster that can pitch, but a lot of baseball to be played yes. today. One down and in, good stop by Young. This one hit well, but foul. Down the left field line, two and one. Yeah, good thought trying to keep that in fair territory, but again, solid contact just didn't uh, keep it fair. Pitch in for a called strike, evens the count, two and two. Fastball misses, and it's a full count. Gillen, a strikeout victim, caught looking on a third strike, first time up. Goes after one up in his eyes. Fly ball out. The relay not in time. It'll be a sacrifice fly to bring Bruley to the plate, and it's a 5-0 lead. It does his job, gets a run home. Kimboy easily beat the throw. And now Spencer Helberg, first pitch swinging, 
Grounded back up the middle, Fierce fields, throws, out number three. But another big inning for the Bengals. This time they cash in on their opportunity. Four runs, a 5-0 lead after inning and a half. Cardinals at the plate after this on CTN. When I first saw Turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with Turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. love. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. Coon Rapids in a big hole early. Just their second at bat. They trail by five. Game one of a doubleheader this evening, this afternoon into this evening. Phoenix Wymore will lead off for the Cardinals. Up over his head, and that's saying something. Phoenix goes about 6'3". Yeah, he's a, he's a big young man six, as well. Four. Phoenix hitting 4'12 as he steps to the plate. He's Having had a, a very nice start to the season. He played well in the uh, high school season as well. Yep. He was one of my players last year. Yep. Enjoyed having him on my team, to be certain. Good kid. Big swing comes up empty at the fastball down the middle, one and two. Fastball high evens the count. Phoenix, a kid that when he get, when he gets a hold of it, he can drive that ball well, a long, look, long way. I've seen him hit uh, batting practice before, and he looks like he can hit it. Had a home run against Tatino Grace last Saturday. Full count now. And it, when you talk speed on the in the lineup, once he gets going, he is incredibly fast. Goes down swinging at the high heat. For out number one. Look at the Blaine Bengals on defense in the outfield grass. Nate Griswold, Dylan Berg, and Gavin Gillen. Parker Dahlman at first. Cole Brule at the hot corner. Ben Walruff and Brandon O'Brien in the middle infield. Tanner Vogel behind the plate for Spencer Helbert. Jack Vlasity digs in, takes a called strike. Jack's hitting 250 as he steps to the plate. And a called strike on the fastball. Gets Helberg ahead, 0-2. Fastball up high, 1-2. and two. Down low evens the count, two and two. Nice backhanded stop by Vogel, even though there's no basers on. Nice to nice see a nice defensive play like that. Agreed. Off speed pitch stays high, high. And it's a full count. Fastball fouled out of play. And we'll try again. Nearly takes out our camera operator. Got our truck on a hop. Hey. 
up and in, ball four. And velocity aboard with one away here in the second inning. The Cardinals in a big of a hole, opportunity to see what they could do. Try and get back into this game. Just down five runs, plenty of time, but they'll continue to need base runners. Fastball down and in to the left-handed hitting Tyree Kemboy. Kemboy, Kemboy, another guy that's got a lot of speed, a lot of speed throughout the lineup for the Cardinals. Hit well to left field and will fall in front of Griswold. And there's two on with nobody out, or one out. Yeah, Tyree came into this game, he, he, in a lot, not a lot of at-bats. This is his fourth game. Had uh, six at bats, but three hits. Now make it four. Tyree was also on my team last summer, and I believe he had the finish with the best batting average somewhere in the 400s. But I could be mistaken. Racine hoping to help his own cause here. Fastball called to strike on the inside edge. Two on, one out. 0-1 count from Helberg. Racine hitting 294. Pretty good hitter at the plate and able to try and help that cause. Comes up empty on a big swing. One and two. Helberg would like to record the out here, which is one away, but Cardinals with a bit of a threat. Fastball outside, two and two. Five hole lead for the Bengals here in the bottom of the second inning. Cardinals trying to answer, get at least something across. Pitch up high, full count. Well, now Helberg's in danger of walking him loaded. A walk and a single in the inning since the strikeout of the leadoff man. And there's another walk, and they're all loaded up for Lucas LeBrant. Vogel out to have a word with Spencer Helberg. And Lucas looking for his first hit of the season and coming at a great time if he can get it here. Lucas is a fun player to watch. I've known this kid since, I don't know, eight, 10 years old, somewhere in there. It would be a very big place to yeah. come up with it when hit number one. He drops down a gorgeous bunt, perfect squeeze. Everybody safe. That was beautifully played. It really was. And beautifully, I, I, beautifully played. Caught the defense off guard and just a perfect bunt. And with Halverson coming in at first and, I'm sorry, with uh, Dahlman coming in at first and O'Brien not covering the bag at second, didn't get it filled cleanly. Coon Rapids well, that's got their that, first run. It, you know, the, the, the mm -hmm. <laughs> beautifully played squeeze. Yes. Yeah, nice, nice. Uh, All the way around. Nicely executed. How's that for getting your first hit of the season? Yeah. An RBI bunt single. On CTN. On CTN, yeah. no less. Is that a big deal? Yeah. I hope it is. <laughs> it is for me. <laughs> And that's all that really matters, right? Number nine hitter, first baseman, Sam Halverson. Chance to keep this rally going out, going with one out. Base is loaded. Sam hitting 071, looking to get that average uh, going north a little bit. Again, Again great time great to have it. Great spot for it. He's a definitely a kid who can hit, hit the ball. Looks at a fastball just below the letters, one or 0 and 1.
Off-speed pitch hit well to center on the run and making the catch, tagging and coming home is Kemboy. The relay will not be thrown. Sacrifice fly for Sam Halverson. Gets the second run across this inning. Yeah, cuts that lead down to three now. Yeah, good, uh, good job by Halverson to get the RBI. And back to the top of the order. As you see, good break on it by Dylan Berg. It was hitting a spot yep. where a lot of times that one might fall, but Berg made a great play on the ball, but just no chance to get Tyree at home with his speed. Yund comes to the plate one for one, had a single, caught stealing. Caught stealing. And it was a nice piece of hitting. Inning. He was at 0-2 at the time. This one skied behind short. All day to get under it for Walruff. He makes the catch and ends the inning. Coon Rapids gets two back. It's 5-2 after two on CTF. Thank you. Thank you. Our hearts are made stronger by how we treat others. Put her there. The light you share can impact those around you, but so can the darkness. Later, twerps. Did Pete saying mean things bother you? So when you reach out to another person, <laughs> take a moment to consider how they will feel and let your heart be the key to making a difference. Because of you, someone's entire day, year, or even life can change. In every heart, there's hope. Want to know the who, what, when, and where of Coon Rapids? Then just follow CTN on social media. It's that simple. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, keep up with local news, sports, and events, and the people who make our community such a great place to live. So give us a follow, like, share, or subscribe, and always be the first to know what's up in Coon Rapids. That's CTN, helping you stay connected. There he is, young Mr. Young. Aaron Young behind the plate for this VFW squad. And Joe's, the one game Joe's for Klempt. <laughs> I, I I just I love watching the kid play. Of course. He's he's Absolutely. a fun player to watch, but I have a huge bias in that respect. But I like it. it's a fun team. He's it's a great a, kid. It's a great bunch of boys. It's a great group of families. Yep. Curveball just didn't break far enough back for Racine. Parker Tallman leading off. He had an RBI walk in the first inning. Fastball skips at the plate to the backstop, 2-0. Oh. Fastball in there for a strike, 2-1. Nice pitch there. Kind of like, let's see if they can get a relatively quick inning and they Got a couple of runs, bottom of the second, looking to climb back into this game. Down by three. Well, now three and one to Parker Dahlman. And that is ball four. Bengals get their leadoff man aboard for the third straight inning to start this ball game. Tanner Vogel, a strikeout in the first. Comes to the plate with Dahlman at first. Nobody out. 
Looks at a strike going one. This one slapped into right. In on it is Vlasity makes the catch for out number one. And Dahlman had to be a little careful there and make sure he got the back to the bag because Lassie was running in on the on the baseball as he made the catch. Left fielder Nate Griswold started the big inning in the second with the leadoff single. Scored one of the four runs in the inning. Racine misses just high, 1-0. This one spun to the left. Great play by Halverson for the second out. And again, Dolman has to scramble back to the bag. Yeah, I was I thought that was gonna drop, but Halverson made a nice move to the ball and able to make the catch. Dylan Berg dropped down a pretty good bunt and then reached on an error. Quickly ahead in the count, 2-0. Oh. Down and away, good scoop, but it's 3-0. Two out runner at first. Blaine already a 5-2 lead here in the top of the third inning. Great pitch right there for a strike, but Berg taking all the way at 3-0. Yeah, he definitely had that, that uh, watch that pitch go by whether it's a ball or a strike. Fastball popped up behind first. Back on it is Halverson and makes the catch. Another nice play by Sam Halverson. Give him the gold star or glove or something for the inning. Cardinals back at the plate after this, up or down five to two. I'm on buzz. I spent too much time on my phone. What? I should take your phone away. No, no, no. I'll call for a ride. Hey, why does my face look like that? <laughs> I'm, I'm playing with these new face okay, filters. Okay, you know what? what? Yep, that's mine. I'm gonna need that back. No. Nope. Kevin! Hey, look. It's those guys. Get some drinks! <laughs> uh, Are you good to drive? I'm fine. How many did you have? I should be fine. You should be? Go and step out of the vehicle for me. See ya, buddy. Good luck. So it turns out, buzz driving and drunk driving, they're the same thing. And it costs around $10,000. So not worth it. Couple of nice plays by Sam Halverson at first base to get the last two outs of that inning. This is a kid that missed almost all of last year's baseball season after a skiing accident where he broke both of his legs. So yeah, it's a great turnaround, great story, and two really nice plays by the youngster at first. Jackson Fierst leading off, looks at strike one, 0-1. Little check swing foul out of play, 0 and 2. Fierce to fly ball to left field his first time up. Easy take as that one was up over his head. Well, the Cardinals would like another inning like last. 
get some run production. After uh, holding the Bengals scoreless. Top one pop third. back out of play. Shapiro on a dive. Oh. Almost. Almost. I didn't, I didn't want to get my pants dirty. It was, it was I would have dove. I would have dove in the grass. Considering you're tethered by that, uh, that headset cord, that was impressive. Off speed pitch. Spins fierce to round. Third strikeout of the ball game for Helbert. Dominic Espinosa, strikeout victim, first time up. We'll dig in now. Nobody out and nobody on. Nobody on and one out. There you go. I'll figure this game out yet. <laughs> or well, my or the tongue. You know, it's fun to meet for me too because I you know Dom has always been a good friend of Aaron growing up and watched. Uh, saw Dom when he's a little kid. I have, uh, I have a lot. There are a lot of pictures of those two along yep. along the ways going back many years. This one hit to the right side on a third hop, scooping it is Dahlman and able to flip to Helberg covering for out number two. And Helberg had to come quickly off the mound to get make sure he covered the bag. As Dom's going down that left field line, or that uh, first base line from the left side. So two outs for Phoenix Wymore. Also a strikeout victim is first at bat. And Helberg establishes the fastball early, gets ahead 0-1. Couple of quick outs for Coon Rapids at the plate here in the bottom of the third. And again, Helberg fools Phoenix into a little half swing attempt at a pitch down and out of the zone. Yeah, he was reaching for that. Helberg and they count one and two. That time he lays off that pitch, two and two. Good call by Vogel and Helberg to go back to that right. pitch. They've got him chasing a couple of times already in this at bat. Fastball up out of the zone, and it's a full count. Yeah, now all of a sudden you wasted a pitch or two, and now all of a sudden you're at three and two, and you're you're concerned about putting him on first, but two away. This one fouled to the backstop. Inside fastball gets Wymore tied up. Strike three. A one, two, three inning for Helberg. His team leads 5 2 going to the fourth. The Coon Rapids Recycling Center can help you recycle all of your old appliances and electronics. From your old refrigerator to washers and dryers, we can help you recycle your appliances and keep them out of the waste stream, which is required by state law. When it comes to electronics, some fees may apply. Check our website for more details. The Coon Rapids Recycling Center, helping you recycle even more. Oh, emoji. I thought the conversation just got dumber. Ugh. Internet trolls, just ignore them. I like you just the way you are. I believe in you. She's a hugger. Give her a squeeze. <laughs> Help up the hand. Ah, there you go. Thanks, mate. You're killing it, Jane. They'll test you. Try to break your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm. Just wait. And move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. 
Top of the order for the Bengals here in the top of the fourth. They lead five to two. First pitch high and away, skips away from Yund and it's one and oh. Walruff has reached base both times, scored once. Drives this one to center. Wymore measuring it up. He's there for out number one. That ball looked like it was going to carry a little further off the bat, but relatively easy play for Wymore. He just has to go a little bit to his right to make the catch. Well, and I, that kid can carries move. Little, he, well, he, he covers a lot was, of territory. I was just, just going to say, I, he, it looks like he care, covers a lot of territory. It's fun to it's fun to see him track well hit balls. Made that one look relatively easy. Here's Brendan O'Brien, two for two, couple of RBI and a run scored. Takes a pitch down and in, one and zero. Seeing misses low, two and zero. Oh. And this is now officially the longest at bat of the three for O'Brien. And Walraf, who before flying out, that's the first time he's seen two pitches in an at bat. So top of the order really likes to get the bat off yep. the shoulder for the Bengals, but they do so effectively. O'Brien looking all the way at that one, three and one. Grounder to the right side. LeBrant scoops, throws to Halverson, out number two. Nice job to get him to ground out. Relatively routine ground ball for LeBrant. Really fouls back the first pitch. RBI double his last time up. Another well hit ball towards right center. Tracking it is Wymore and He's there for out number three. One, two, three, go the Bengals in the top of the fourth. Cardinals at the plate after this on CTF. Oh, hi, I'm TV's Howie Shapiro. And when I'm not announcing CTN sports broadcasts with my sidekick, Joe Yen, I'm watching all the other great programs on the CTN Studios YouTube page. There's news stories, great local events, and even full games. You can even watch on any smart device with a YouTube app. Whether that's your phone or a tablet, you can watch CTN's great programming wherever and whenever you want. You can even watch CTN's event coverage live. So no matter where you are, you can share in all the excitement. CTN Studios, building community through cable. Wayne Bengals able to jump to an early lead, getting one run in the first and then three more in the, or four more in the second inning. Jump to that 5-0 lead. Coon Rapids finally uh, getting on the board in the bottom half of that second inning. A suicide squeeze perfectly played. Jack Vlasity scoring and then the sacrifice fly by Sam Halverson drove in Another run, and that's where we sit. Well, and Andrew Racine has done a nice job in the third and the fourth, top of the third and fourth, just to you know keep the Bengals scoreless after a run in the first and four in the second. Flaherty fouls off the first pitch.
Vlasity walked and scored on that squeeze play. Pitch misses outside. It was beautifully, beautifully executed. It really was. Bases loaded and one out. They put the squeeze on. Great bunt laid down by LeBrant. And Jack got a good jump, so easily came home to score. This one lofted high to center. Underneath it is Berg, and that is out number one. A lazy fly ball to Dylan Berg in center field. Well, the wind picking up a yeah. little bit, coming in from center, so if you've got a lofted angle coming off the bat, that ball is gonna hang up there. Tyree Kemboy singled and scored his first time up. Fastball misses wide, 1-0. A speed pitch rolled to the right side, scooping it as O'Brien. He lost it. First error of the ball game on the Bengals, and Kemboy is at first. Well, what should have been the second out of the uh, of the inning, O'Brien not dro dropped it not once but twice, allowing Kemboy to get the first. Now Racine. A walk his first time up. Pitches outside, 1 0. Called strike right at the letters for Racine. Down in the dirt, good scoop by Vogel, keeping a close eye down at first, and Tyree Kemboy, two and one. Yeah, you don't want to make sure that pitch gets behind you, yeah, as you mentioned, a backhanded scoop. Strong defensive play by Vogel, another one. And again, they're trying to get Kemboy chasing down and away, or sorry, Racine chasing down and away. Wisely lays off, and now a hitter's count at three and one. Helberg will give him a fastball just below the letters and a full count. Kemboy going, Racine swings and misses. Tyree's got the stolen base, but Racine out number two. Bring up Lucas LeBrant. Well, Kimboy got a nice, nice jump on the ball as to see the swing and the miss, and even a good, a good throw wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have caught him with the bag. Again, he's another one of those guys who's got plenty of speed on the bases. Fastball in for a strike to Lucas LeBrant. off on that one, almost offered. Thought about it, but yeah. it fell down and away and wisely held off. Kemboy the runner at second, two away. A 1-1 count now for Lucas LeBrant. Up high, two and one. Follows it to the backstop, and the count is even at two and two. Another one fouled off out of play. 
Well, Brad doing a nice job of keeping this at bat alive, fighting off a number of pitches. Trying to keep this inning going two away. That one well up out of the zone. Full count. Misses outside, and that's a walk. Two on, two out. And Sam Halverson coming to the plate. Well, good at bat by LeBrand. He really earned that walk. Halverson, a sacrifice fly to center field, first time up. Pitch down in the dirt. Vogel able to locate it quickly and keep Kemboy from close, but then they miss the throw back, and Kemboy wisely scurries over. Well, Helbert kind of nonchalantly walked for that ball. You talk about with he's got speed. speed. Well, with speed, you can't. And you, he's you, a smart base you, runner too. You can't be nonchalant about what nonchalant about what you're doing in the field and allowed him to take the base. Check on LeBrand. He's back safely. Runners at the corners, two outs. Fastball up high, 2-0. and oh. A little bit of two-out pressure on Spencer Elberg. They're trying to, again, trying to get out of the inning without any damage. Runner at third. LeBrant goes, they turn and throw. He heads back to first. Now Kemboy breaks for the plate. The throw is not there in time. A well-executed double steal. I love it. And LeBrant has been a part of he, both of those plays. And he just did a really nice job of, of again, just uh, stringing it out, allowing Kemboy to come home. They tried to get him at the plate. Everybody safe. Of, great base running yep. by Tyree. You know, he, he gets on, on an error, steals second. Advances on the on the lazy play, and then it steals home as part of a double steal. And the lead is down to two. Pitch up high, three and zero. Oh. And a four pitch walk. Puts two aboard with two out and flip back to the top of the order. Opportunity for Yund with runners at first and second and two away. Keep this inning alive, see if they can. Similar situation in his last at bat yep. and he popped it up. This time looks at a fastball strike one. Solid at bat in the first inning. Line drive single to first or to left. This one skied foul territory over by the dugout and Thankfully, out of play. <laughs> but now 0-2. That gets another opportunity here with that ball drifting foul. Two out, two on, and 0-2 count. Helberg delivers, fastball hit well towards center. It will fall. They're going to send LeBrant. Throw is off the line. 
both runners will advance. Halverson at third, Yonda at second. An RBI single for Yonda. He will advance on the throw. Good aggressive base running. And smart heads up running by both Halverson and Young. Well, a seeing eye single just dropped right in front of Berg in center field for his second hit of the game. And getting that throw way offline, allowing the base runners to advance to second and third. Well, it's risky because uh, Berg came so far in. First pitch hit well by Jackson Fierst, but Therefore, it is Gillen, and that's out number three. Cardinals get two more. It's a one-run game as we head to the fifth on CTN. So there you are, shuffling through a stack of resumes and you come to mind. This is it, first impression, my way in. But can my resume show you how I truly stand out? Like that I was studying, going to night school while working two jobs just to help my parents pay for groceries. Or being the first one to always step up. No, that's something you just can't put on paper. Look beyond the resume and discover new ways to develop great talent that is dedicated, hardworking, and determined like me. Opiates has taken everything and everyone I've ever loved away from me. Everything. I blew my ankle out and I got prescribed pain pills by my doctor. If making my detox public is going to help somebody, I'm all for it. I just wish I would have had a warning. Opioid dependence can happen after just five days. Know the truth. Spread the truth. Beautiful day for baseball. We're still in game one of a doubleheader between the Blaine and Coon Rapids squads. The boys is summer out, and it's a beautiful day it for really, us. Very pleasant. Cards able to get a couple of more runs back in the bottom of the fourth, make it a 5-4 lead now for the Bengals. Blaine up at 1.5 nothing. Cards doing a good job of chipping away and getting right back into this contest. Definitely a ball game again as Gavin Gillen Digs in to lead off for the Bengals. Looks at a fastball for a strike, 0 and 1. Gillen a strikeout in the first, a sacrifice fly in the second. A speed pitch inside, evens it up, 1 and 1. Speed pitch missing inside again, two and one. A pie three and one. That's a tough situation here with a leadoff hitter again. Trying to keep him off the base pass. Reaches out and hits this one well to center. Great wow. play by Phoenix Wymore. Again, he covers a lot of space. <laughs> and he, he tracks the ball well. He makes it fun to watch. Yeah, you know, and, and again, he came in so quickly on that baseball. I thought, I thought it was going to fall in front of him, but did a really nice job of using his speed and then that little dive at the end. All leather, able to make the first out. And now Spencer Helberg 0 for 2. Strikeout and a ground out. First pitch nubbed back to the pitcher, Racine Fields. He'll take his time as Helberg's not really sprinting down the bases. <laughs> and a very quick out he becomes this time. So a couple of relatively quick outs here in the top of the fifth. Parker Dahlman. 
Wasn't he exactly That's hustling. Two walks. Unless he's oh, I think. Oh, dealing, I think oh, he's. Oh, yeah. He, he that should have been a foul. It went off yeah, his toe. I saw that. That's that's why yeah. he wasn't sprinting down yeah. the bases. His toe hurt, and it was a foul ball. <laughs> Parker Dahlman has walked twice. Pitch, pitch misses low, one and zero. One skips to the plate. Two and zero. Fastball at the letters, strike one. And he wants to obviously avoid falling behind with three balls in the count, get a nice strike there. This one chopped to the left side. Good scoop by Dominic Espinoza across to Halverson for the out. Racine has retired nine straight. Cardinals try and keep the comeback working. They trail 5-4 going to the bottom of the fifth inning. Hmm, maybe you can make retirement happen. After all, you made this vacation happen. Double points with every purchase. Cleverly merging promotions. I love it. Cross-referencing travel sites and booking all your flights with those. Vouchers, I got us bumped. They were like, oh, but now they're like, Aloha, you aced this vacation. Now get the tips you need to get on track at aceyourretirement.org. Oh, sweetie. Okay, you know what? Let's let's take off his sweatshirt. Get rid of pictures of him. You don't have to look at him. Goodbye, Dave. Mom, you don't understand. He's tagged in like 400 of my posts. I can cut out tags. No, that's that's not how it works. What is a tag? <laughs> you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care would love to share their first with you. It's always nice to uh, come out and enjoy some baseball yes. on a nice summer afternoon into evening. Yeah, fans just relaxing in the comfortable chairs. Enjoying and a good ball game. One. And a good, good ball, ball game. Two rivals. Yep. Espinoza, Wymore, and Vlasity, the scheduled hitters for the Cardinals here in the fifth inning. After trailing 5 nothing, Coon Rapids has come back to make it a game. Well, again, like to put some pressure here on the Bengals, the bottom of the fifth. Got a new pitcher on the hill for the Blaine Bengals. Espinoza 0 for 2, strikeout, ground out. Takes the pitch up and away. Brendan O'Brien, the pitcher now. Pitch down in the dirt, 2 and 0. O'Brien well, was playing second. Nate Griswold is yep. now at second from left. Does that mean that Helberg's out in the left? Fastball in for a strike, two and one. Trying to see the number out and left for us to see at this point. This one skied high in foul territory. A great effort and not able to come up with it, though. It's third baseman Cole Bruley. And new life for Espinoza. Great effort by Burley, just not able to squeeze it. It's two and two with the leadoff man here on the bottom of the fifth inning. We have Austin Barnier out in left field now taking the place of Griswold who moved over to second. Fast ball chop back over the head of O'Brien and in the hole, great diving effort by the Shortstop Ben Walruff, but you want to talk about a seeing eye single, that's yeah. it right there. And a great way to start for the cards here in the top of the in the bottom of the fifth. When you talked about uh you know Aaron's last hit being a seeing eye single. Yep. This one. This one even right more back up so, the box. but 
the bigger part is both fouled off pitches that were nearly caught in foul territory and came back with new life to get base hits. And they're going to keep Espinoza close. Wymore 0 for 2, a pair of swinging strike threes. Pitches outside, 1 0. Off speed pitch, swung on and missed, one and one. Big swing and a miss there, trying to get some contact on the ball. Oh, he likes to swing the bat. Yeah. And when he connects, he's got some power and he's definitely got speed on the bases. Pitch is low, two and one. Good job being patient at the plate. Pitch in the dirt, skips away from Vogel. Espinoza got a good jump and easily over to second base on the wild pitch. Yeah, no opportunity for Vogel to throw it out of the bag. I got a runner in scoring position with nobody out. A good hitter at the plate and a hitter's count at three and one. Called third, or called strike as it just dropped in. It looked like it was going to stay high and came in at the letters. Count is full. O'Brien gets him swinging at a pitch in the dirt. Vogel looks to third and then the throw hit. Phoenix in the back. Espinoza will come home. That throw home is overthrown. Going to second is Wymore. And I don't know how many errors you can have on one play, but <laughs> they're, they're, a little bit of a snowball, it. a little bit of a snowball fight there by the Blaine infield. And just like that, it's a tie game 5-5. And then, and then you have a speeder player again at, uh, there you so, see the ball getting away from Vogel. And he's in the base So that's pet. a wild pitch. Yep. But... The throw in the back, I suppose, would not be an error. It would reach on the wild pitch, but, but then he scores on the error. Yep. They have not put an error on the board. Velocity, big swing. Comes up empty. So it is a strikeout, but he reaches on the wild pitch, advances on the error. The run scores on the error. Because after the error and throw into the back of the runner, there was an errant throw home. And they still haven't put an error on the scoreboard. They're in there discussing and trying to figure out exactly <laughs> how that should all work as well. I just have an audience to <laughs> verbalize about what I think it should, should happen. Correct. But I'm not sure that that's the right call or not. I may be completely off base. Down and away. Two and one. Two one count now to Vlasity with Wymore at second. Pitch is down and away again. Three and one. Rough start to the relief outing for Brendan O'Brien. Yeah. Comes in and gets a run in already. Runner at square lead position. Off, lead off seeing eye single and then a wild pitch on the strikeout and some errant fielding. Vlasity really wanted to go oh, after that, probably should have. Yeah. A good fastball there called for a strike and back to a full count. Yeah, he definitely was ready to let his back go, then decide at the last minute to keep it on the shoulder. 
called strike three, same spot. Back-to-back -back strikeouts technically for Brandon O'Brien. Tyree Kemboy singled and reached on an error, scored twice. Handful of stolen bases along the way. This one hits sharply to second. Throw over to first for out number two. Wymore advances yep. over to third base. And now Andrew Racine with a chance to again help his own cause the go ahead run just 90 feet away. That would be the first lead of the game for Coon Rapids if they can accomplish that. Fastball down and away. Fastball called strike, one and one. Where he's seeing a walk and a strikeout, looking for his first hit of the afternoon. Wisely lays off that one down and away. Good stop by Vogel. With good speed at third, he's got to keep it around the plate. Yeah, he's got to keep it in front of him if he can. And again, that we've talked about defensive catchers, and he's made a couple of nice ones here this afternoon. Easy take that time as that was above the brim and inside as well, three and one. Fastball, high fly to right field, curving towards fair. Foul territory, it's fair though. Easily scoring is Wymore. Racine is gonna turn and dig for three. And he is in standing with an RBI triple. Coon Rapids has its first lead at six to five. Uh, Gillen trying to track over that ball down the, down the right field line and that uh, not able to get to it. It's gonna drop right in fair territory. Racine able to get all the way to third. Coon Rapids takes the lead. Well, he was ready to he was ready to stop at second. Yeah. And he said, oh, look, picked up the coach's signals and easily over. Yellen made a great effort. That ball was hooking away from him the whole time. LeBrant pops up in foul territory and it'll skip off the glove of first baseman Parker Dolman. And now LeBrant has extra life. Two runs in the inning, a one-run lead for the Cardinals here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Game one of a doubleheader. We'll turn around and play another once this one is done. We will. Down and in, one and one. Unless this one goes 17 innings, then I don't think that and I don't think that you don't uh, think they'll play a second game. We play that? a second one. I don't know that we could play 17. No, not. I do remember a few years ago a high school game that had to be uh, postponed to the next day. Yeah, it had yeah. to be finished the next day. We were doing a lacrosse game yep. and watching the score, and it was finally called because no lights here at the Ken Sundstrom Field. Two one count now to Lucas LeBrant, down and away three and one. Yeah, this has been a real rough inning for Brennan O'Brien. He just wants some, some relief this inning to be over. Already now relinquished, relinquished the lead. And Lucas LeBran able to work his second walk of the ball game. Fouled off that first pitch that was nearly caught by uh, Dahlman and then saw four balls. Gets his second walk. He's been on base all three times. And now Sam Halverson. This could be his first at bat of the ball game. He's had two plate appearances. Right. No at bats as of yet. A walk and a sacrifice fly back in the second inning. 
After falling behind 5 nothing, after an inning and a half, Coon Rapids scored two in the bottom of the second, two in the bottom of the fourth, now two in the bottom of the fifth. And though pop-up is squeezed by Vogel, but uh, knocked over by Dahlman. And that one nearly gave the Cardinals more life again, but fortunately the catcher able to squeeze it. That's why we talk. Better communication keeps that from happening. Either way, Coon Rapids gets two runs. They lead 6-5 as we head to the sixth on CTN. Hmm, maybe you can make retirement happen. After all, you made her college years happen. Watcha. Opening that education savings account when she was little. Spearheading a campus tour. And another, and another, and another, and another. Bam! Deciphering financial aid. She was like, what? Well, now she's like, yeah! you waste planning for college. Now get the tips you need to get on track at aceyourretirement.org. do anything for kids. Yet one in six children in the U.S. struggle with hunger. Help end childhood hunger near you. Learn how at feedingamerica.org. Look at that line. Six runs on six hits, five runs on five hits. Both teams, a couple of errors in the field. As we get into the late innings here, still game one of two. Bottom of the order due up here in the top of the sixth for Blaine. This one hit well, it's going to be foul. Kenboy gave a good effort, but no chance to get anywhere close to that. No, that was, that was uh, no opportunity. Vogel a strikeout and a flyout. Racine has retired nine straight Bengal batters. Goes up after that one and smokes it back through the middle for a leadoff single. Yeah, he went that ball out of the zone, but he chopped it right back up the box. Racine nearly got it with his glove, but came up empty. We'll have a courtesy runner. That'd be Hayden Zink. Of course it would be. Who else would it be? Well, yeah, well, could have been one other guy, but Hayden's got the bigger, the faster, better wheels. Or he was closer to the end of the dugout. <laughs> it's my turn. Nate, Gris <laughs> Nate Griswold, one for two, scored a run in that four-run second inning. Up high again, 2 0. Oh. Blaine looking to get that run back here in the top of the sixth. Off speed pitch, he was way out in front of it, got a piece of it. 2 and 1. Runner is going, pitches outside, throw from a knee is way off target. Stolen base for Zink. That would have been tough to get him at, at that situation, but yeah, the throw is way off the bag. Three and one. Fastball in for a strike, full count.
Ball four up and in. Two on, nobody out. Remember, the Bengals able to get the bases loaded with nobody out in each of the first two innings. Only scored one in the first, but added four more in the second. Had that 5-0 lead before the Cardinals comeback began. Coon Rapids finally able to uh, get back in front in the bottom half of that fifth inning. And now here in the top of the sixth, two on, nobody out. Well, that second inning was the most troublesome so far for Andrew Racine. This is the Bengals able to get those four runs. Well, and it was Griswold who started it with a single, and then Dylan Berg dropped down a sacrifice. And he's going to drop down a bunt again. They'll take the sacrifice this time. There was an error first time. Good sacrifice. Moves runners to second and third. Takes the double play out of play. Out of the equation. I thought about going that route and didn't. <laughs> Nice job by Aaron, uh, by Aaron Young, just coming out from behind the plate, making sure he got that first out. Quick throw well, down to the Now back. back to the top of the order, one out and two in scoring position. The Cardinals trying to hold on to that fresh one-run lead. Zink the tying run at third. Walrath takes a strike, 0-1. Walruff one for three, but has reached twice, scored once. Yeah, important, an important batter for Andrew Racine, just trying to get that second out. Pitch is high, one and one. This one hit hard through the hole on the left side. This will score both runs easily. A two-run single for Ben Walruff and Blaine right back in front. And yeah, they didn't uh, they didn't lose the lead for long. They're taking going to take a walk out to the mound. I didn't see anybody warming up in the bullpen. We'll see what he does in terms of make a change in that. Well, they are now. They weren't earlier. That does look like we're going to see a change. Jennings Jermu will take over on the hill. We'll take a break, give him a chance to get warmed up. Blaine back in front, 7 6 here in the top of the sixth. More VFW baseball after this on CTA. America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. County Health's construction of the overpass can start in March or April and be finished by the start of the new school year. I'm going to live to be 100. Love them enough to relearn math so you can teach them math, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. Two hits and two runs in this inning for the Bengals to retake the lead 7-6. Jennings Jermu on in relief and here it's a runner at first base. Brandon O'Brien at the plate is two for three, a couple of RBI and a run scored. Yeah, had a rough inning on the mound in the bottom of the fifth. Looking to see if he can continue 
just went away, but continue this uh, inning solidly for the Bengals. Well, especially after seeing the bottom part of the order come up so big. You now that's your seven and eight guys getting on base, your nine ga guy moving them forward, and your leadoff man driving in a pair to get you right back in front. Well, they reacted quickly to get back that lead. After help being held in scoreless between in the third, fourth, and fifth, able to come up with at least now a couple of runs here in the sixth, working on some additional. Hit and run is on this one. Skied in foul territory. Espinoza over for a look, not able to make the catch. Two and one. Sorry, one and two. This one skied and another in foul territory. Long, long run, but out of reach for everyone. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough run for Kimboy and certainly for Espinoza. Kind of looking back at it. Runner is going, pitch is a called strike. The throw is not in time, a stolen base for Walruff. But a strikeout for Jennings Jermu. Maybe the second out of the inning. Hart's just trying to get out with any additional, without any additional damage. Already have given up two runs here. Cole Bruley. RBI double back in the second inning. Looks at a fastball high, 1 0. This one popped up. Will it stay in play? No, it will not. 1 and 1. Really got a piece of the off speed pitch, but fouls it to the backstop, one and two. Well, good, set, good situation for Jerbo. Head of the count. He's trying to get out of this inning in relief of Racine. Another one fouled back out of play by Bruley. We'll try again at one and two. This one chopped to the right side, fielding it is Halverson. And he'll win the race back to the base for out number three. But Blaine strikes right back, and they lead 7-6 in the middle of the sixth on CTN. Home fire drills give your family a plan of action. In a home fire, you may have less than two minutes to get out. So when you drill, show everyone two ways out of the house, pick a safe meeting spot, and get there in under two minutes. Then practice home fire drills at least twice a year. You can even make them fun. So everyone knows the sound and exactly what to do when they hear a smoke alarm. Go to ready.gov slash fire drill and learn how to prepare your family for home fires. Hmm, maybe you can make retirement happen. After all, you made home ownership happen. Homeschooling yourself on loans, beefing up your credit score. So I'm pre-approved. You were like, yes! Sorry. Color coding listings, ticking boxes, and flushing every toilet in a 20-mile radius. Home sweet home. You aced house hunting. Now get the tips you need to get on track at aceyourretirement.org.
Top of the order, two up for the Coon Rapids Cardinals here at the bottom of the sixth inning. After taking the lead in the bottom of the fifth, the Bengals claw right back in the top half of this inning. And now the Cardinals right back in the negative, but just one. Just one. That is correct. Aaron Young will dig in, two for three. With an RBI this afternoon. Fastball down and in, one and oh. He had an opportunity for Aaron to keep his uh, good day going. Another new pitcher on the hill for the Blaine Bengals. See Kyle Fanning. Looks like Griswold's still at second. Yep. I don't know if O'Brien came out of the game. It's pitched down in the dirt. Two and one. Another one skips in front of the plate. Three and one. Yeah, I got Vogel on the hand too coming through. On the arm. That one skipped well in front of the yeah. plate. Hitters count three and one. Young just got on top of it, fouls it three and two. Both of his hits have come with two out or with two, with two strikes. strikes. Just gonna throw that out there. Full count pitch right here. Foul, and we'll do it again. This one grounded to the right side, scooping it is Dahlman. He'll win the race for round number one. I tried to pull that one a little bit to see if he could get it in that little bit of a hole between first and second, but. I'm going to make him a play. Not sure what that Not sure conversation either. was about. But definitely something that Coach Hagan felt important enough to come down and discuss with our umpire. That one thrown wide. 1-0. First, looking for his first hit of the ball game. That one hit well toward the hole and through, and there it is. Got that one first out hit. single. Solid base wrap for first. Belt high fastball yep. right down the middle and first turns on it. No chance for anyone. Dominic Espinosa digs in one for three this afternoon, singled and scored in that last inning. At the time was the tying run. Diving back safely is fierce. Pitch misses outside, two and oh. Good patience by Dominic Espinosa at the plate there to take that, that pitch, two and oh count.
check on Fierce again. Again, he's back in time. One out and one on. Two old pitch hit back up the middle, scooped up by Griswold. The flip for one, but Espinosa able to beat it out and avoid the double play. Espinosa making that uh, run down the baseline pretty quickly and able to beat that throw. close bang bang yep tie goes to the runner and now Phoenix Weimar 0 for 3 all three strikeouts but he reached on a wild pitch that and he ended up by uh, scoring the go-ahead run this one hits softly in front of the second baseman, and he's able to beat it out as the runner had to come off the base to field the throw. Yeah, Dahlman had to come off. He's, he's a the good bag. hitter. You don't see him get no. a lot of infield singles. Well, take it. Keep this inning alive with two away. But a nice job by Espinosa running a little screen, making sure he didn't get hit, and that throw well wide. And actually, a pretty good play by Dahlman, make sure that it doesn't go by or else you've got runners in second and third. And now Jack Velocity. Velocity a walk and a run scored back in the second inning. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0-2. Yeah, big situation now here for Fanning as he's able to go get ahead in the counter 0-2 and, and to try and close out this inning. The runners at first and second. Manning stepping off, looking at the runners. Pitch down low, one and two. Card out hitting the Bengals now, eight seven, but down a run. Big hit here from Vlasity, chasing it and unable to make the catch is Berg. He got his glove there, but couldn't squeeze it. Espinosa scores, and here comes Wymore all the way from first. He's in safely, and Coon Rapids is back in front. Wow, you talk about a seesaw battle, and that was a nicely hit ball by Vlasity. And, you know, both runners off with the crack of the bat. You can see it again, that ball giving a, giving a nice little ride out to center field and we're not able to get it as it's I believe went off his glove it did yeah he got he went a long way to get there and just couldn't quite make the play at the end Kemboy won for three but he scored twice big hack at the first offering falls behind 0-1 Hit this one towards center, and this one a relatively easy play for Berg to end the inning. But again, Coon Rapids puts two more back on the board. The seesaw battle continues. We head to the seventh. Cardinals up one on CTF. Want to know the who, what, when, and where of Coon Rapids? Then just follow CTN on social media. It's that simple. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, keep up with local news, sports, and events, and the people who make our community such a great place to live. So give us a follow, like, share, or subscribe, and always be the first to know what's up in Coon Rapids. That's CTN, helping you stay connected. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread. 
and kiss them all soundly and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Top of the seventh, middle of the order due up for the Blaine Bengals. And they're back in a trailing position down 8-7. Gavin Gillen, Spencer Helberg, and Parker Dahlman, the scheduled hitters. Gillen 0 for 2, did have a sacrifice fly back in that four-run second inning for the Bengals. That's a great opportunity for Coon Rapids after uh, losing the lead, after gaining it quickly, able to come back with a couple of runs in the bottom of the sixth to retake the lead. Yeah, crooked numbers in three straight innings yep. and four of the last five. Solid. <laughs> 2 0 pitch fouled back out of play by Gillen. Looking for his first hit of the afternoon. He shook his head. And again, a this is a this has been a great ball game. It has been. I, I I think you could you could ask every fan here and they would say, Yeah, if I came out to the ballpark and this was the only game I got to see, I would be satisfied that I watched a great ball game. This one lofted to right. Jack Flassity there for out number one. However, that's not the case because we're gonna just turn around and do it again. Uh, exactly. And we hope it's as entertaining as uh, this game has been. Well, and it's, Unless and it's a 10 0 win for Coon Rapids, then I'd be okay with that. It's a nice, it's a nice afternoon, but it's cool. It's a, a little bit of a breeze, so overheating, not a nope, not an issue. Spencer Helberg looks at a letter high strike, 0 and 1. I don't think you're going to get the call on that one. I do not. One and one. And then just missing low, two and one. Yeah, tried to keep that pitch low in the zone. It's a little too low. If you're going to miss, miss low. Yep. This one hit well to center. Wymore came in and backed up and just stayed still. And what do you know, it came right to him. Out number two. Oh, the cards are an out away from taking the seesaw battle. And that's saying something when they fell behind 5-0 yep. uh, in the first inning and a half. Parker Dolman, a pair of walks in his three trips. Fastball up and in, backs him off the plate. Uh, speed pitch fouled out of play. One and one. Pitch low, two and one. Well, it would be a really impressive win for the Cardinals who did a nice job after Blaine scored two in their top of the six to come back and retake the lead with two of their own. And Jeremy was just trying to keep it, uh, keep it at that score. Behind in the count of three and one, forced to bring something pretty good here to Parker Dahlman. Fastball was right there. Dahlman doesn't offer, it's a full count. This one hits sharply right back up the middle and a two out single keeps the Bengals hopes alive here. A nice piece of hitting by Dahlman is able to slap that ball back up the box. Again, we'll see Hayden Zink as the courtesy runner. Well, this time is a pinch runner. A pinch runner, that's true. That's first baseman, yep, not yep, your yep, catcher. That's true. Here 
We've got a new batter at the Joey plate Powers. as well. Joey Powers trying to power his team back. <laughs> as Young snaps the throw down to first, trying to catch Zink sleeping. Powers grounds it to the left side. It skips away from first into left field. And the Bengals, Bengals with back-to-back two-out singles have the tying run in scoring position. Yeah, they got something cooking here. And Nate Griswold, who is one for two with a couple of runs scored, the chopper will come to the plate. Right through the hole between third and short. We've seen a number of those on both sides. We have. Just sneaking through the tightest holes in the field. This one foul over toward the Blaine dugout. Great effort by Young when sliding in, but. Got to be careful. That fence coming up awfully quickly. As long as he keeps his mask on and yep. he doesn't break his nose again. That would, uh, yeah, absolutely. But, yeah, it certainly don't <laughs> want to hurt a hand or no. anything. That's a pretty safe way to go at it. Slide in. This one chopped foul. Well, now you're in a great situation ahead in the count. 0-2. Oh, oh, yep. This one grounded to third, bobbled, but an easy step on the bag by Espinosa, and this one's over. The Cardinals have come from behind win. 8-7. Uh, nice win for Coon Rapids. That's going to up their their record to 6-5 and five, up over the 500 mark. And, and as you mentioned, just to come from behind win and just a solid effort for these guys and did a nice job to protect that win, get out of it, and get, uh, get the W. And it was fun for us to be a part of it. It was a really fun, entertaining baseball game to watch start to finish. A big lead by Blaine early. Great comeback, a little seesaw at the end. And the home team walks away victorious. 8-7 again, the final, and this is just game one of a doubleheader. That's going to do it for this broadcast of CTN Sports. Want to thank everybody out for joining us, continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.